I'm going to be reviewing a custom Jordan 2 for you guys. Yo, this shoe is fire, man. You know, this is flame, man. Damn, this is the custom. This is what it evolved into. This is so fire to me, guys. This was just a great concept, man. You know, obviously he took the whole wing pattern from the uh, wing 12s and he incorporated it on the Jordan 2 just wing it. Yo, what up, what up, it's the kid, CJ City. You already know what it is, CJ City TV. So we back with another vlog today, guys, man. You already know what it is, it's Sunday. Every Sunday at one o'clock, I'm uploading new videos. So if you guys are not familiar with that program, make sure you guys tune in every Sunday at one o'clock. Make sure you guys subscribe to my page, turn on the notifications. Hey guys, make sure you smash that like button for your boy, man, because I'm just here to help out the people. So I would appreciate a little help back, man. But with no further ado, let's just jump right into this vlog today, man. This is just a topic that I wanted to cover and I just wanted to talk about my failed custom sneakers guys all oh, these are big fails and i'm about to show you guys right now but before i even get into that let me just tell you a little story man you know i kind of got into the custom game late you, you see what i'm saying you know everybody was doing customs and stuff like that i didn't really trust people i didn't want to send people my shoes i didn't want to send no money up front this and that you know i was already dealing with this one dude i had met at a sneaker event and he actually you know he took my shoes never responded back I was looking for this dude for a minute. I never found this dude, but he pretty much made his way off of my sneakers and my money. So that's what I was, I was like, yo, man, I'm not doing this whole custom stuff like that anymore. But I actually met this one dude. He actually seemed legit. So I kind of like trusted him and I got my sneakers done from him. He actually did the sneakers, guys. So, you know, it, it just like, the it, it, he took a long ass time and he was just like saying, oh, they'll be done in two weeks. Five weeks pass, they're not done. You know, another five weeks pass, they're not done. He just keep on feeding me all these lies. I, fi I finally got my sneakers or whatever the case is, but that just kind of turned me off of it a little bit. And then I reached out to another guy and I, yo man, this guy's talking about, I need to ship the shoes out, pay the money. He sent me the address. This, this was way in China or something like that. So I was just like, you know what? I'm tapping out the game. I'm no longer doing any more customs unless you live like in my backyard, like 20 minutes away where I can actually go see you fam like that's the only way i'm going to do custom i'm not getting into these customs anymore so i'm going to tell you why i had some failed customs but before we do that man i'm not about to be the laughing stock of youtube homie i'm about to show you my successful customs though so i'm going to show you guys some customs that i actually got you know if you guys aren't or if you guys aren't familiar with my channel this shoe right here probably kind of put me on a map this is a supreme 12 i don't know if you guys can see this because my my camera doesn't really auto focus but i'll give you guys some cutaways or whatever the case is but uh yeah this shoe right here really put me on the map i'll put this this shoe out got like 40,000 hits 40,000 views or whatever the case is i was like the only person with like a supreme 12 you know and the custom just came out really really dope so you know salute to the dude who did that one that kind of put me out there man i love that sneaker that sneaker is dope i haven't seen anybody with anything like that on the market the next shoe that i decided to get when everybody I was doing like those fragment customs they was taking the laser ones and stuff like that i decided to do the shattered backboards man i decided to get a shattered backboard colorway this one actually did really really good as well people were viewing that you know i'll give you a little cutaway of that as well as you guys can see this orange i feel like kind of matches the orange and on the shattered backboards i've seen one other person do it but uh you know i don't know if he did it before or after or whatever but this shoe is kind of rare everybody was doing fragments or whatever the case is so i decided to get that one done yo that one's dope i put it on yo everybody's just saluting me i just love the sneaker a little bit better because you can see like the laser print on the sneaker so that's just a plus it's just an added addition that'd be dope if you could get like a bread colorway a royal colorway and just have that little laser print effect Effect, uh, that laser uh, print effect on the shoe I just think it sets it off just takes it up a little level but that was dope and then my last custom that I actually got this one I feel like people was kind of sleeping on but I couldn't you know obviously I couldn't afford no goddamn uh, Encore 4's the M&M's so I decided to do that on a 3 and this one just came out super dope man you know I'll give you a little bit close up on that as well that shoe is just super slept on in my opinion I feel like this shoe is fire I'm really proud of this shoe you know and um yo man the only reason I have ended up getting that shoe like I said I couldn't afford the Encore's but I wanted to get another M&M shoe this shoe was so 
fire, dog. When I seen it, I was like, yo, I got to get this. So now we're going to talk about my bells, man. You know, you win some, you lose some. And I lost these ones, dog. So, you know, this is, like I said, the guy who was uh, living in China or something like that. He, he told me to go down to a place. I went to this place, and I thought this was where I was going to drop the shoes off. I was going to meet him, dab him up, get the fillers to meet him, see what kind of person he was. No, wrong. He, he sends me an address to this, this warehouse. It's just like a warehouse with just boxes. I walk in there. It's two Chinese people up in there, and they barely speaking any English. They, hey, how you doing? And I'm like, yo, I want to ship these shoes up. Oh, put that right there. Put that over there. I'm like, no, I'm not about to just drop my damn money on my box off. Where's this dude? I need to talk to him. I need to discuss the design. This is this. They're not understanding me. They're just put the box over there, put the box over there. Hell no, I'm not doing this. So that was just a big fail for me. I didn't really trust the guy. Um, I decided to do like these ones right here, man. This is a, a Jordan SNS one right here. I don't know if you guys could see it, but um, I, I'll give you a cutaway of the custom that I actually wanted to do right here. Boom, this was going to be like a Jordan like two kind of mixed with uh, like the whole Jordan 4 that just came out where it had like that Jason mask on it and stuff like that. You guys can see that's a dope one right there. I was gonna have that done to this one right here. I was gonna pair that up with the Encores, probably put that in look like a little display case or something like that. And it was just gonna be good money. It was gonna be good to go. I was gonna do a video. I, it was just gonna be tight, but like I said, when I got down there to that warehouse, them two Chinese people was trying to take my damn sneakers. They just had a bunch of boxes over there. I didn't trust it, so I got the hell up out of there, man. So I didn't do that custom. Um, yeah, that custom just out the window. I'm not going to get it because, like I said, I'm just out the game. I'm not really trusting people like that. The second fail, this is an L that I took big time. You know, I this was like a long time ago, guys. So you guys remember the uh, the Jordan 5, the Chinese lows, when those had came out? Guess what? I was going to do a custom and I was going to do it on a high top version or a mid top version. I was going to get this five customized to make it look exactly like that Chinese Jordan 5, the low, but it's going to be a mid top and that was just going to be crazy, dude. I talked to this dude, he, he sketched it all out, he said he could do it, he was, he was buying the paint for it and everything, you know, he had my hopes up. But he took forever, dog. He told me he was going to take like maybe like three or four weeks. And like I said, 10 weeks passed, man. 12 weeks passed. He's not sending me no updates on my sneakers. He's not sending me nothing, dog. So I just got kind of nervous or whatever the case is. And I just asked for my sneakers back. I asked for my money back. I didn't get all of my money back. I didn't really want to go through all that, that with him. But I did get my sneakers back and I didn't get the custom. But here's my problem, man. If you're out there and you're doing customs, don't just say a nice like uh, return date just so you can get people to rock with you, dog. You're gonna lose business like that. Tell me, oh man, uh, I can do that design. That's a little complicated though. It might take about 12 weeks. It might take about four months or something like that. Let me know before I get into it. Then I'd probably be okay with doing it. I probably wouldn't be hitting you up telling, hey man, where's my sneakers? Where's my money? Because you're telling me two weeks and it's been 10. You know, tell me it's going to take 10 weeks, 12 weeks or something like that. Tell me it's going to take four months. You're not going to lose business, guys. You guys really got to grasp this concept of, uh, of this customer service, man. If you would have got me as a customer, I would have been rocking with you forever, man. If it would have took 12 weeks, it would have just took 12 weeks. I don't care. But I ain't with the lies. I ain't with the beating around the bush. I just, You just lost my trust, man. So that's just how I feel. And the whole custom game... I'm just out of it, man. I don't really trust people like that anymore. So th that's my that's my story on the uh, failed customs. I took two L's, but I feel like I took three dubs before I took those two L's. So that's not a bad record within the custom game or whatever. But uh, yeah, man, uh, if you guys got any stories like that, if you guys got any success stories with customs, you guys got anything like that, leave some comments. I just really want to know, you know, how is this custom game going right now? How is the custom game? Are you guys still getting custom or are the returns on the custom? Some good, you know, just let me know, man. Leave some comments. You already know what it is. CJ City TV, and we out, man. Make sure you subscribe to my page, though. Peace. <laughs> How do I afford to buy my sneakers? It's very simple, man. Every single day, you know, I'm out here, I'm pushing weed, I'm pumping coke, man. I'm getting my kilo, and I'm pimping these hoes, man. That's what I'm doing. Like, <laughs> I'll just play it, though. City.
Uh, you see me bowling like I'm MJ, 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 MJ. You see me bowling in these MJ, 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 MJs. You see me bowling like I'm MJ, 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 MJ. You see me bowling in these MJ, 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 MJs. I'm, I'm, I'm bowling. What up, what up, kid CJ City? What up, what up, I'm kid I'm, CJ I'm, City? You already know what it is, CJ City TV. So today we back with another vlog for you guys. I'm, 